first on 11 Alive this Saturday night, an event advertised as the greatest automotive experience. We're talking about the second annual Rick Ross car show. It was held at the Grammy nominated rappers mansion in Fayetteville. Now last year's event turned out to be a traffic nightmare with people stuck on area roads for hours, but this year a much different story. 11 Alive's Don White joins us live in the studio with the plan that helped keep traffic flowing and people happy. Now, Don, you were one of the few reporters who had access to the car show grounds. Well, Latasha, that is right, and I got to see thousands and thousands of cars up close and personal. Now, last year, only six officers worked the event, and this year, more than 100 officers from multiple counties, they were out in full force. We were allowed on Rick Ross's property for the car show, and it's a vantage point you will only see on 11 Alive. Thousands of people pulled into Rick Ross's promised land with cars as far as the eye could see. Oh my God, when you talk about last year, we're talking about, it's almost like you wake up to a bad dream. Traffic was horrible. But City of South Fulton Police Major Marcus Denard says this year's event was much different due to lots of planning. Well, we started planning this for this thing about uh, three months ago. There are no uh, cars parked on the side of the street in our neighborhood in the city of South Fulton. The residents for the most part are, are happy. Uh, I'm happy. Things are flowing straight. Uh, we talk about a wait time again, two hours compared to 15 minutes now. We've only heard from uh, one or two neighborhoods with minor problems and we've immediately been able to address it. Fayette County uh, Sheriff Barry Bibb says those officers help traffic to move along smoothly. By being stationed along roads and intersections close to Ross's mansion. They had to use one of five parking locations and there were also some backup lots and they would take shuttle buses here. Those buses picked up people from lots like this one and dropped them off at the car show. Everything has worked out because our South Fulton Police Department worked in conjunction with Rick Ross's team and we had a multi-jurisdictional task force that's come together and made sure that they had a plan for traffic control. Also, no parking signs lined roads for miles in Fayette and Fulton counties. It was like night and day. 50 yard yeah, line breakfast there. and sports bar owner Harriet Bryant says people blocked the parking lot last year and they had no customers because of that. But this year, business is booming. It was um, great for the businesses um, here in the Tri County Plaza. It was just a uh, uh, great experience. Everything worked out, everything was orderly. When they small, but Customer they April Kennedy thinks that this year's event was much smoother. I think it was a good thing for the community. You know, as far as, you know, at the car show, the kids get to come out to see all the, the cars, the different cars to see, you know, what it's like, you know, they have the old school cars. This is expected to be an annual event, and right now police are having a debriefing event to talk about any possible changes to make next year's event even smoother. Now, Don, this was built to be a huge event. Do you know how many car enthusiasts actually came out for it? Well, Natasha, about 6,500 people were expected for this year's car show, and right now we are waiting to get a head count, although from what I saw at the event, it looked close to that number. 